What is going on my lords and ladies and welcome it's Inferno Cut in the back in Game of Thrones for a discussion. This is going to be about Malcolm who was of course in Ethan's part of the story as well as mostly in Asher's part of the story trying to get him to bring him back home. So yeah I want to speak about him because in episode 5 he was left behind to do a mission for Daenerys without her actually telling Asher and everyone else that she was planning on doing that so what does Danny have in store for Malcolm that you know was so important to actually go ahead and not have him go back to Westeros to his family and keep him in Essos to do a mission for her why trust Malcolm to go ahead and do a mission for her when she knows nothing about Malcolm she just met him in episode 4 and she wants him to stay behind in episode 5 and possibly go ahead and serve her and that could be a great thing for House Forrester in the long run because the Targaryens definitely well you know the only one left but the only one left has like the power to go ahead and take back the Iron Throne which is kind of like going into um like season 7 or 8 territory whenever Daenerys if she is able to goes back to Westeros and tries to take the Iron Throne that's going into deep book and TV show material, so I'll try to stray away from that. Like, if it were to happen, like, I'm gonna say that Daenerys goes to Westeros and succeeds in taking the Iron Throne. That would put House Forrester at a great position because now they have Malcolm, who is serving Targaryen, or House Targaryen, I mean, and he's part of House Forrester. That could be a great thing for House Forrester because they'll have an ally with the Targaryens who are now going to be sitting on the Iron Throne, or the, at least Daenerys is. So, for House Forrester, that would be very great because they would have the crown as an ally and they could actually have protection this time. Because right now, right now in the game, House Forrester basically has no allies right now. The crown won't help. The Glenmores are kind of, they're kind of an ally. They definitely are an ally. But Lord Glenmore isn't really too keen about, you know, certain stuff depending on your choices. But that's pretty much it. House Forrester has no allies, but if the Daenerys were to go ahead and take the Iron Throne, that would put them at a great position. Now, of course, um, back in the day when things were great for House Branfield, they were definitely a loyal house to House Targaryen. But of course, um, the rebellion happened. House Branfield was mostly like you know wiped out. But of course, House Branfield was still loyal to House Targaryen. So that's pretty much you know we had that information from the Codex of Malcolm and Elissa, but we have not had like this detail mentioned to Daenerys at all in the game like that's kind of a big important thing because they'll kind of you know reassure that hey you know you are pal you are part of House Branfield and you did serve my family back in the day that could be a good thing not really sure but you know yeah they're trying to secure an alliance between House Forrester and of course House Targaryen and that's pretty good now for the short term it won't really help out because Daenerys probably isn't going to be taking the Iron Throne anytime soon and how Forrester is kind of in need of help right now. There isn't much Daenerys can do at this point because of what's happening in the TV show. We're like at late season 4, I won't say anything about it, but you know right now there isn't much Daenerys can do to go ahead and spare her troops for obvious reasons because of you know her having to hold down Marine for future events. So. As for the short term, it won't really help out because of her not being able to spare troops or going down there to help the foresters herself. Obvious reasons she won't. But long term, this could be a great thing for House Forrester having an alliance with House Targaryen and Daenerys herself. Because who doesn't want, you know, an, an ally with three dragons and a whole army of just unsolid soldiers? Like... That's pretty awesome. So, what do you guys think about Telltale leaving Malcolm behind in Essos? Do you guys not like it? Do you guys really like it? Because this could be used for a season 2 where you play as Malcolm or um, a Game of Thrones miniseries. Game of Thrones Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones Malcolm. A Telltale Games miniseries. That would be really weird, but you know. Malcolm. I mean, come on, he's a pretty cool character, and I wouldn't mind playing as Malcolm, but I would definitely miss playing as our leftover playable characters, because Malcolm's cool and all, but he doesn't have that kind of development yet that would make me want to play as him. I would like to play as him, definitely, if he were to... It depends on how he would be portrayed throughout his, you know, main series or DLC or Season 2. Would definitely play as Malcolm, but, you know... I want to see how they can actually go about doing that 
making us actually care about him and wanting to play as him. That'd be pretty interesting. So, what do you guys think about Malcolm showing up in a possible season two, a DLC, a mini series? Because you know, mini series are something that Telltale is looking to do more of. I wouldn't doubt they would do that. So. What do you guys think about Malcolm being a playable character in his journey in Essos doing missions for Daenerys Targaryen? I want there to be purpose that Telltale left behind for Malcolm because why leave him behind to, be, to, to serve Daenerys but not mention it ever again? I would love to have some kind of purpose of why they left Malcolm in Essos to serve her. So what do you guys think about Malcolm being playable or Malcolm having his own little short episode of his journey It could be interesting, but I want them to go ahead and kind of reel us into how it actually work out But anyways, hopefully they won't forget about Malcolm because that would be very very kind of a bit like Eh, I would like to see more of him But you know, we'll see how Toto goes ahead and does it if a season 2 or a DLC or a mini series happens involving Malcolm or did they go ahead and just throw him off to the side and forget about him? So, anyways, thank you all for watching. It's been Infernal Kun with my Game of Thrones discussion about Malcolm Branfield of House Forrester. If you guys do have any predictions of what's going to happen in Episode 6 or for the future, comment down below and subscribe for more. And also like if you guys did enjoy. All that stuff helps me out a lot and I do appreciate it. And your grace, if you guys do have any suggestions for videos, like discussions, comment down below on any of my videos. I'm definitely looking at suggestions to make videos and would love to see that. So, anyways, Iron from Ice, and I'll see you guys next time on Game of Thrones.